Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play New to Endless Trails. Today we're going to be going around and talking to um, everybody in town. But I had to do a little bit of rewinding because the dialogue that you get before you meet Lyra on the Cape and then the dialogue that you get after you meet Noi are two entirely different things. So what I'm going to do is talk first to everybody um, before I meet Lyra. Then I'm going to go back to my previous save that I've been working on and uh, talk to them again after you get noise so we can see both of the different dialogues. And I'm going to be showing all of that dialogue uh, in this one episode. I'm not going to be doing any plot, nothing like that, so it's just going to be town dialogue. Um, and also, there is a hidden Mishi in the after story. However, um, I'm not going to show that in today's episode. I'll show that in the next episode because, um, well, I mean, it is in town, but, you know, that's like more of progressing along, like progressing with the story, finding the hidden Mishi, you know, things like that. Um, I didn't want to show that in today's episode if, in case, you wanted to skip it. Um, because I know that some people like the town dialogue, some people don't. It is what it is, you know, it's up to you. I really don't care if you like it or not. I'm going to show it anyway because... Like I've said before, Legend of Heroes games are about the journey, not about the destination, and reading the dialogue of these townsfolk is part of the journey. Okay, so there we go. And what do you have to say? Oh, yeah, it will be. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah, well, we did a quest about that. Also, the people who were in the tavern, um have left those like three nobles they've left the island because you know this is the after story it's a year later they're not going to stay here for an entire year and i believe that those two girls who were like painting and stuff i believe that they have left the island as well but other than that uh everybody else is around so yeah that's the only changes oh well yeah i guess oh Handle hard- is that supposed to be hardship? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, kind of bad, I've got to say. So I'm not going to go up to the cape so that I don't trigger the, um, what is it, the, uh, the Lyra dialogue and move on with the plot. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, everything looks totally cleaned up right now. It looks perfectly, perfectly fine. So, let's see, go over here, and talk to you. Oh, well, why is that? Oh, okay. So, you guys are going to go out of business or something? Yeah, you can't even buy any weapons right now, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah... I really hope so. Um, yeah, basically what he's saying by the Renaissance is that it's having a rebirth in uh, arts and culture and just kind of um, moving to a more peaceful way of life, like the European Renaissance uh, as well. You know, moving away from like the Crusades and warring and tribes and things like that and moving more into, you know, arts and introspectiveness in the church and that sort of stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and he will soon enough. Oh, well, thanks. Okay. And that would be nice, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, their souls have been swallowed or trapped or stolen or something. I don't know. I'm just playing this as I go along. <laughs> okay. Yeah... He certainly did. Yeah. Aw. I hope so. I I really do feel bad for uh, Master Orvis in that Cigna never really did say goodbye. Orvis never really got any closure, and he feels a he he basically thinks of him as his own son. And for him to not be able to visit him or anything, it's horrible. Oh, well, no problem. Oh, saved from what? Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be going on a date with my husband pretty soon, too. Uh, Celine Dion is in town, and we're going to see her uh, tomorrow night at 7.30, so that should be really good. She has a residency here, and she's playing at the, um, I believe it's Caesar's Palace that she's playing at? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. I hardly ever go down to the Strip. Here I am. I've lived in Vegas for six years now, and I, get, I can count on one hand the amount of times that I've actually gone down to the Strip um, for something other than seeing a show. I go down there to see a show, I would say, eh, once a season or so. Um, there's actually nobody down there on the docks, so don't worry about it. Yeah, the fishermen are gone, too. But I would say once every two or three months I see a show, but as far as going down to the casinos, gambling, stuff like that, I never do that. Um, really? I think that you're embarrassing the scientific community by even caring about her clothing, and I've got to say that uh, her clothing looks, um... Yeah. Yeah. Is she talking about her? Okay. Because I've got to say, Calum here is dressed very inappropriately, and the other one, Colum, is dressed more conservatively as a scientist should. Anyway, with all that said... Oh, there's one more person. Yeah. So we're going to talk to him, and then I'm going to kind of fast forward to my other save after we get Noi and uh, go around and talk to everybody again. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, okay. Hmm. And through the magic of loading, I am back at home. Oh, yeah, you did just see that star shard. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, um, that's nice. And I could see that. I, I, I could see why you would be jealous. Um, maybe jealous isn't the right word. You would just be kind of reminiscent of your family since they both died, you know? That sucks. That's awful. Well, I'm happy that she's back, too. She seems nicer this time around. Oh, okay. Well, great. Hmm. <laughs> I guess, uh, the dad knows what, uh, what Lyra wanted to do. Aw, oh, poor Lyra. Uh. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Noi does seem to come t at, like, the most inopportune times. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Cigna and Curea are our number one priority, but you'll always be there for me, Lyra. Yeah, that's true. Maybe at the end of the game, she'll finally say that she likes him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Really? Huh. I don't know. What person? Who? What are you talking about? Okay. Well, who is it? Hmm. What's that? Oh, really? Oh, well, that's good. Hey, awesome! That's... Th that's... Amazing news! Yeah, seriously. Well, that's good. I was worried about those patients with hell fever because, you know, we basically we saved Eartha and then we didn't save anybody else, so... That's really nice. Oh, yeah, that's right. Noi doesn't remember. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Hey, yeah, get some more doll clothes. But I've gotten everything that I want from her, so maybe if there's, like, another cocoon or something that I can find, she'll have uh, more clothes for me. Oh, hey, Boutte! Um, yeah? Really? Um, I had to help with the house all the time whenever I was a kid. Just be like, you, you, I would get home from school, like, in, you know, third, fourth, fifth, whatever grade, and my mother would have me clean up the house for at least an hour, if not two hours, and then I'd do my homework, then I'd have to help with dinner, too, then I'd have to clean up dinner. It was like slave labor, it was all the time. And this kid's is like, oh, I'm an adult, I help around the house sometimes. Bitch, please, I helped around the house every single damn day. God. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. 
Yeah, it's time to make some new memories starting now. You know, you miss your old... I guess that is a silver lining. You know, you uh, you miss the old memories, but then you, you go and you make new ones. Nothing wrong with that. What presents? Huh. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Oh, okay. No, you aren't useful at all. You suck. Oh, well, sweet. I'll just feel a little bit safer with you around. Oh, here are those girls. I wonder where they were before, because they weren't uh, around before. I looked. Huh. Okay. What about you? Maybe she was away on, like, a ship or something, or who knows. Because I know that the captain and his little fisherman sidekick guy wasn't there either. So, eh, I don't know. Anyway, let's go inside and talk to the uh, weapon shop people, see if their business is going any better than it was before. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Your sense of smell? Ew, what are you talking about? What are you, gonna smell Noi and say that she's like the same thing? It smells like an incident? What? That doesn't make any sense! Nothing makes any sense! Oh, why is that? Oh, okay. Well, great. Awesome. Maybe you can make me, like, the ultimate one-handed sword. Uh, there's still one more, um, slot that I have for a one-handed sword, so, eh, maybe so. Yeah. Oh, that's true, I guess. Yeah, no kidding. It's not a very exciting thing, you know, you're over there saying that, Hey, Noi lost her memories, so that's really exciting. It makes my life exciting. But you're not thinking about the way that Noi feels. That's horrible. Oh, no problem doing the quest for you, old man. Yeah. Okay, well, we know that. We know that, too. Oh, well, sure. Yeah, that Star Festival should, uh... I bet you, bet you, bet you, bet you, bet you. Now that I really think about it, the ending of, um, Trails of Cold Steel focused on the Academy Festival, or at least it was right around the ending. I bet you that the Star Sh or that the uh, Star Festival is going to be the, like, real ending um, of this game after the After Story as well. So, yeah, I just kind of put that together. I bet you somebody, you know, all of you viewers out there probably already figured that out, because you're much smarter than me, but, like, that was like a total, uh epiphany for me. I was like, oh, that's when we're going to see the Star Festival. Kind of reminded me of Chrono Trigger, the ending of that where it was, um, the, uh, Millennial Fair was kind of ending, uh, the ending of, uh, Chrono Trigger. Oh, well, yeah, I remember your little baby brother, who actually has hair. Oh, do you really have to talk in third person? You're so damn annoying. Let's see, talk to her. Oh, well, everybody else seems to be happy that Noi's back, too. Um, no. I don't want to. At all! Let's go on down here. Let's see if the uh, fisherman's back. Oh, lots of people are over here. Your sister? Yeah, what's going on? Hmm. Yeah... Okay. Aww. Well, that's nice. She was looking for her sister, or reminiscing or thinking about her sister, like, the entire time through all those other chapters, and now the, uh, sister's here. She's back. I really like that. How there's, like, a whole, uh, character arc. Um, but with pretty much every single character around here, it's not just, you know, one or two, like, Every little NPC has their own little character arc here. So that would be a positive of having, you know, just the one village in the game. You know, normally I like to see different villages and different places and things like that, but again, whenever you have a nice story and you tell it succinctly with brevity, I do, uh, I do like that. You can't swim? 
Seriously? Your entire career is about going on this fishing boat and you can't swim? Have you lost your freaking mind? Um, you can't be a real sailor unless you know how to swim. All it takes is one storm and that rickety ass boat of yours and you're screwed. So, did you come back? Oh, well, I guess they are back. Huh. I thought that they were gone for good. I was thinking, you know, because they weren't there the first time around. I was thinking, you know, okay, well, they were just visiting, and now they're just gone. Huh. Well, that's kind of nice that we get to see, you know, more of them. Yeah. Well, that's good. Is he talking about the Erebonian Empire? I wonder. Um, no, that's gross. Seriously. <laughs> that's really creepy. Oh, no, talk. Mm, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, we don't have anything for you right now, but uh, we will eventually. And there's one other person that I want to talk to. Uh, I didn't think that he was over here, but he actually is down here on this dock. There we go. Yeah. I'll try not to. Okay. And next time on Let's Play Nigita Endless Trails, we are going to go into the, uh, where are we? Not the Abyss Continent. We're going to go into Ultopia and start doing these three, um, no. Let's change it to winter time. Yeah. These three stages. There we go. The temple doesn't change, but these three stages do. So we'll get rid of those, and we will also find the uh, hidden Mishi. This has been David, and have a good day.